Michigan's most visited tourist destinations include a wide range of interests thanks to the state's diverse landscape, rich history and legendary city of Detroit. There are endless opportunities for those who are looking to enjoy nature, especially along the shores of the Great Lakes, where you can find freshwater dunes and coastal habitats far from the sea. Visiting historical sites, like living history museums, is one of the popular things to do, especially Fort Mackinac and Mackinac Island and Greenfield Village, which is part of the Henry Ford Historic Sites. For those looking for a faster pace, Detroit is an excellent place to visit. It's a city that has worked hard to embrace its significant contributions as the Motor City while evolving into a top tourist destination and cultural centre. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Michigan. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 10, Belle Isle Park, Detroit. Detroit's Belle Isle sits in the Detroit River, housing an expansive park that is home to numerous attractions. The entrance fee to the island covers admission to all. A family favourite is the Belle Isle Aquarium, the country's oldest aquarium. It is housed in a historic 1904 building with a stunning green opalite vaulted ceiling and aquarium residents include favourites like pufferfish and clownfish, turtles, seahorses and even poison frogs. The Anna Scripps Whitcomb Conservatory is another popular attraction, occupying 13 acres alongside the Lilu Pond and the formal gardens. It is one of the oldest conservatories in the country and includes the Show House, Palm House, Cactus House, Tropical House and a sunken fernery. To find out more about the region's maritime history, visit the Dossin Great Lakes Museum, home to permanent and changing exhibits that celebrate the economic and social importance of the Great Lakes. Among the many other attractions on Belle Isle are the Grand James Scott Memorial Fountain, a giant slide, the Belle Isle Golf Range and the Belle Isle Boathouse. Belle Isle is also home to the Detroit Yacht Club. And at 9, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. The University of Michigan in Ann Arbor encompasses 2,800 acres. Some of the interesting old Gothic buildings include the Law Quadrangle, the Power Center for the Performing Arts, and the Natural History Museum. Key attractions on the campus include the Kelsey Museum of Archaeology, with strong collections related to Mediterranean civilizations, the University of Michigan Museum of Art, and the University of Michigan Museum of Natural History. Beyond the university, you'll find a long list of fun and interesting things to do in Ann Arbor. Among these, and located off-campus, is the Matai Botanical Gardens. Located next to the central campus is the Nichols Arboretum. At 8, Detroit Zoo. The Detroit Zoo has an impressive variety of animals in multiple habitats, representing all parts of the world. African animals live either in the forest or grassland habitats and include everything from aardvark to zebra, with many family favourites like giraffes, lions, lemurs and several primates. An arctic habitat is home to the zoo's famous polar bears, and the Australian outback has 16 resident kangaroos and two wallabies. The exotic Asian forest features red pandas and amur tigers, while the North American habitats feature some of the continent's most interesting animals, including bears, wolverines and bald eagles. The zoo also houses reptile and amphibian centres, an aviary and even a fine art collection. Visitors can tour the park aboard the miniature Tauber Family Railroad, which has been in operation since 1931. Battle Creek's Binder Park Zoo also offers a vintage train ride, as well as a wilderness tram through its African savanna habitat, and the John Ball Zoo, one of the top attractions in Grand Rapids, has a large selection of special animal interaction opportunities. Interaction, eh? At 7, it's Isle Royale National Park. Isle Royale lies in northwestern Lake Superior near the Canadian frontier. Shaped by Ice Age glaciers, this 432 square mile island has many lakes and streams, dense forests and a variety of wildlife that includes wolves, foxes, moose, otters, ospreys, herring gulls, falcons and more. This relatively unspoiled tract of country attracts those looking for a remote wilderness experience. 
the best way to see the park is on hiking trails and boat trips. Access to the island is by boat or seaplane. Trips usually originate from Houghton or Copper Harbor, Michigan or Grand Portage, Minnesota. At six, it's the Henry Ford Dearborn. Known collectively as the Henry Ford, this is a group of three attractions that explore not only the auto legend's life and work, but also the entire scope of American innovation. Visitors can take a step back in time at historic Greenfield Village, where you will see what life looked like in the 19th century. Points of interest include working farms, a restaurant that serves fare that was typical in the 1830s, the train depot where you can catch a ride on a steam-powered locomotive, and rides in a Model T, the Henry Ford's Museum of American Innovation tells a story of inventors and forward thinkers who helped shape the world we see today, from the Wright brothers' dream of flying to Rosa Parks' conviction to see change in her lifetime. For a look at the most current marvels of innovation, the Ford Rouge Factory Tour allows visitors to witness the inner workings of an automotive factory and learn more about the technology and concepts that go into modern vehicles. At 5. Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park, Grand Rapids the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park offers a variety of environments in which visitors can enjoy the synthesis of art and nature. Outdoor gardens include traditional foliage, a children's garden that encourages interaction with its unique plants, a butterfly maze and a peaceful Japanese garden with twin waterfalls. The 1880s farmhouse is a replica of Lena Meyer's first home and includes the farm garden. The Lena Meyer Conservatory is a five-story tropical environment that houses many rare and exotic plants. And in March and April, visitors can watch the amazing process of monarch butterflies transforming from caterpillar to delicate insect. Sculptures are found throughout both indoor and outdoor spaces. At four, it's Pictured Rocks National Seashore. Pictured Rocks National Seashore on the south shore of Lake Superior gets its name from the colours of copper, iron and manganese oxide found in the rocks. The landscape here is a mix of dunes, cliffs, beaches and rocky shoreline. The interior is forest covered with inland lakes and rivers. Visitors come here to experience nature, usually through activities like hiking, camping and boating. In winter, the area is open for cross-country skiing, snowshoeing no less and snowmobiling. Nearby is Grand Island National Recreation Area, an island which is also popular with outdoor enthusiasts. At three, it's Detroit Institute of Arts. The Detroit Institute of Arts is known for its expansive collection of humanity's creative works from the earliest cultures through today. With more than 65,000 works of art in over 100 galleries, people from every corner of the globe are represented. The museum's Islamic art collection includes examples of pottery, stone and bronze, and there are prime examples from classical antiquity, medieval Europe, Oceania, Africa and the Americas. Among the most coveted European works are paintings by Picasso, Rembrandt, Matisse and Van Gogh. While in the neighbourhood, tourists will want to take a peek at the beautiful architecture at the Detroit Public Library, then make the short walk down Woodward Avenue to the Detroit Historical Museum, which is dedicated to the Motor City's fascinating past and emergence as not only an industrial centre, but also the birthplace of the legendary Motown sound. And next at two, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore and Lake Michigan. Although it is the third largest of the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan is the only one that entirely borders US soil, and it also gives the state the distinction of having the second longest shoreline of all 50 states, second only to Alaska. A comprehensive look at the lake's importance can be found at the Michigan Maritime Museum in South Haven, and there are numerous boat tours perfect for sightseeing, like the tall ship Manitou in Traverse City. The lake's islands are popular places to visit, with the Beaver Island Archipelago and the Manitou Islands as tourist favourites. The Manitou Islands are part of the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore, which is known for its expansive dunes that are perched on headlands along the shoreline. 
This state park is one of the most visited, noted for its variety of hiking trails and the Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive, which spans 7.5 miles along the coast. Other impressive lakeshore dunes include the Warren Dunes in Warren and the PJ Hofmaster State Park in Muskegon. And finally, at number one, it's Mackinac Island. Mackinac Island offers a look at a historic period and simpler way of life before cars and buses. Visitors can take a ferry to the island and spend the day wandering through the shops of the old town, touring the island on a horse-drawn carriage, hiking or visiting Fort Mackinac. Opened in 1957, Mackinac Bridge connects the lower peninsula at Mackinaw City to the upper peninsula at St. Ignace. One of the longest suspension spans in the world, it eliminated the backup of vehicles waiting for ferry passage across the straits. The Mackinac Bridge Museum contains many interesting and original artifacts from the construction of the Mighty Mac. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Michigan. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.